It's very exciting that this is the first time that Pakistan is taking part in the Venice Biennale as an official national pavilion, and I think it's a hugely important step. For me, when I visited Venice last time, I thought that there was a gap because Pakistan was not here. So after speaking to the Venice Biennale's team, I approached the Pakistan Authority. And then I thought about carefully whose solo exhibition I wanted to do. And I came upon Naiza Khan, primarily because I loved the way that she explores an island and explores its history and its heritage. We're showcasing a small island called Menorah Island. And I realized that Menorah Island and Karachi's coastline have such interesting parallels and similarities to Venice's history and maritime trade routes. There's been a lot of exploration in this work and um, uh, the space that we're sitting in is a series of maps uh, which have been cast in brass. And the objects and the maps relate to a document of archival weather history and this document was prepared by the British. It was a document classifying weather, storms, cyclones in the early 20th century in 1939. I was very interested in how there was this desire to sort of predict the weather as well at that time. Not to control it necessarily but to predict it. I selected 11 cities from this weather report and I wanted to think about not just the scale of the city, so all the maps that have been cast have been um, extracted from Google. So the maps um, contain a lot of factual information. The objects that you see on top of the maps, around them, are really small objects that I've found in second-hand bazaars in Karachi. And I wanted to play with them, as you're saying, in a very evocative kind of way, in a way where you sort of think uh, about the imagination of out of this particular landscape. We wanted people to be immersed within the show and to try and bring them, in a metaphorical sense, into Menorah Island. The videos are important because they really showcase a side of the island that even people living within Pakistan have not seen. So the viewers of Venice are very lucky in that sense that they're getting an opportunity to really delve into a place that has been private for such a long time. For me, it was very important that the artist was a woman artist. Pakistan's female artists are doing so well globally. And Pakistan also traditionally has a matriarchal culture, and I think that's often ignored in news media, in politics. You know, we had a, a, our first female prime minister in the early 90s. This Biennale's theme and title is May You Live in Interesting Times, and I think that especially in today's era of fake news, of miscommunication, misinformation, art is really one of the most important tools that we have to change people's perceptions in a positive way and showcase a new reality to them. I really believe that this contemporary art exhibition that we have put together will dispel a lot of misnotions about Pakistan. Now, thank you so much for coming and joining us at Sagar Theatre on Queen's Road, an exhibition presented by Foundation Art Divi and curated by myself, Zara Khan, as a collateral exhibition to the Lahore Biennale, its second edition. This piece over here is by Ali Baba, and it creates a very interesting meditative environment for the viewer. As you can see, a drop of water is dropping one drop at a time into a hole in the man's head. Ali Baba is a fantastic sculptor, and this is a comment of time and the passage of time in old buildings. This over here is by Afan Bhakpati, who again looks at old-fashioned ornaments and creates something new out of them. This room is absolutely fantastic. It is by Amra Khan, and Amra has created a boudoir of sorts for the viewer to spend time in. 
If you look at some of the paintings and the paraphernalia that she has on display, she's looking at one's masculine and feminine self, which all of us as individuals have. Particularly in our society, I think, men and women are chastised or perhaps discouraged from really accessing their entire personality. The works over here are by Malcolm Hutchison. Malcolm is a fantastic photographer who spent a lot of time in Lahore a couple of years ago. He took these beautiful photographs of the transgender community in Lahore. I absolutely love these portraits. There's so much passion, vigor, enthusiasm, and also very Bollywood excitement. And yet there's pain in these faces as well. This piece over here is by Mohsin Shafi, and it is an ode to Lahore in many ways, where he's looking at the Spring Festival. The imagery is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we've tried to use the building and its character in many of our installations, where you can see parts of the wall coming through. Now we're going to go see the film section of this exhibition, where we have five films by four fantastic Pakistani filmmakers, and they're quite short. The one that's playing right now is by Omar Riaz, and it's called Gole Dawri. So we have several artists in this exhibition. Here you have pieces by Sophia Balagambala, and this is the first time that Sophie has created busts for us on these wonderful ornate columns. Kumel created this installation particularly for this exhibition, Sagra Theatre on Queen's Road. Many of these paintings have been inspired by Kumel's experiences growing up in Lahore. Things that stayed with him over time, memories from childhood, superheroes that he connected with, now come inside and follow me to a wonderful new piece by Abdullah Qureshi called Journey to Charbagh. It's an absolutely beautiful piece and it really encapsulates the viewer. It's a piece about queer imagery, mythology, journeying to far places and it comes together really beautifully. Thank you so much for coming by and seeing the exhibition. I hope you enjoyed it.
think it's only when we do public exhibitions like this show at the PNCA that people really interact with the art. It's not something then that's hidden away or secret. Artists who are, who've grown up in this country, who live and work in Lahore, and who really want to exhibit their work for everybody around them to appreciate. This exhibition, I think, has something for everybody. You have pieces that children can interact with. You have pieces that adults can interact with. In fact, as part of this show, we've actually created a brochure that's especially for children. And we really want schools and universities to come and see the show. It was actually a great experience. It's always, I always love to share my work in Pakistan. Because whatever I am doing is coming from the same, same place. Uh, so it's love, it, it, it is wonderful experience to exhibit my work here and share with them. And this is not just an ex exhibition, there is other thing also involved in it where the children from Koita and Peshawar, they came and they helped me in, in installation of our work and um, it was amazing to see their energies and how happy they were and it was like also exposure for them to see the new uh, medium of art uh, like Imran's installation of with the paper and the, uh, on the terrace and my tapestry and these kind of things. So we had very good dialogue and I think it was great collaboration. I think this is very important not just to show the artwork but to involve the audience and the local people in, in, with that. Uh, within that exhibition, so I think this is great. Uh, and when you enter the Grand Hall, you immediately encounter this huge monumental kind of sculptural site-specific installation, uh, which is constructed of uh, almost about 30,000 sheets of paper, which, has, which looks very bloody from a distance, which looks very much some kind of uh, human body parts compiled or piled up in the gallery space, creating a huge, very violent kind of landscape in the middle of the gallery. But when you come close to them, these are not just the blood marks, but these are beautifully drawn images of flowers or petals, uh, which is depicting the idea of life or hope. I work with music so uh, mostly I listen Sufi music because it's connect with my uh, art practice also whatever I'm making in, in my paintings. <laughs> Turnout was amazing. I think I was not expecting this kind of response or reaction from the audiences.
morning. We really hope that you had a spectacular evening.